am Farcaster. It is Monday, April 8th, and you are here with Downish Prof and Adrian for 21 minutes of Farcaster news to start your day. 21 minutes of news and maybe a little, you know, 10 more minutes of other things. <laughs> I think is how we're going to post this from now on. I think we're losing the 21 minute meme. Do we need to <laughs> drop? I'm trying. Do we, need, I'm trying. do we need to rebrand and drop our tagline? We, we might need to. We might need a whole new tagline. Uh, but we we are definitely going to keep air, always keep it under 30, but hopefully we can even uh, tighten it up a little bit. But good morning and happy Monday, Adrian. How are you today? Happy Monday. Happy Wonderful. Monday. Beautiful, sunny spring day. It's so Friday, you had like a fun thing that you were doing as part of NFT NYC. There was a big meetup, Farcaster meetup. So tell us about that real quick before we dive in. I saw no pictures, by the way. Well, what happens at <laughs> Farcaster meetups? Apparently. Farcaster meetups until the professional. Especially when I'm not there, there like going, trying to get a selfie with every single person, I guess is what oh, happened. Um, oh, it was hmm. a... Um, Serendipity, Caro, our friend, uh, organized the meetup, and hmm. you're looking okay, at Okay, we're me. getting no, I think our stream is having issues. Uh, hold on. Audio is great for me. Okay, no. good. Not, we're fine. We're fine. We had a little okay. note in chat that they couldn't get audio, but they hear us. Okay, so they hear us. We're fine. We're also testing this out on YouTube at the same time, so we didn't know what was going to go possibly wrong. So back to Caro, back to Meetup. It was fun. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, big announcement on our stream today. We'll have to. We'll get to that later. Okay. So yes. No, we're that we're trying to stream on YouTube today. Oh. <laughs> like, right now, we try out like, new tech stack stuff. Yeah, huge like, announcement. What's the announcement? And why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> We're decentralized. I'm going full time. <laughs> Even faster. just us two are very decentralized. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, so it was fun. Weirdo. You met lots of new folks, and including uh, the background that you're sporting right now. Yes. Uh, um, my is. Go ahead. There it is. There it on is. the screen. So Callum Wanderlutz is a. Um, What's the techno astro photographer? So he takes pictures. He's okay. like wonderful work of pictures of uh, moons and eclipses. So he's getting ready to travel and get the uh, amazing total solar eclipse today. Um, but he's relatively new on Farcaster. I just saw him post. He flipped his followers in two months. But he writes wow. on Paragraph. Very thoughtful person. Um, I've enjoyed getting to know him, and I met him in person on Friday night. So definitely check him out and his work. And definitely check, I guess, follow him today because he'll probably be the best place on Farcaster to get some cool pics of the of the eclipse. If he, for those yeah. of us who, especially for those of us who aren't up in that way. And the meetup was awesome. So many people. It was like a Eat Denver reunion slash Farcon preview. Like I was kept joking nice. like, about everybody who was there. I was asking if they're going to Farcon and it just seemed like, yes. So super excited to continue um, the say. URL to IRL pipeline. I am so excited. I can't wait for Farcon. But before we go to Farcon, we have other things to talk about. So cast actions are here. So remember Friday, we said cast actions were launching. We didn't exact, I didn't exactly know what that means. I'm not going to speak for Adrian. She might've known exactly what that meant, but I was like, okay, what does that mean? Um, and now they're here and now we can talk about them. And you'll see this little button in the bottom right corner that then will pop up some different actions if you have installed them. So this little thing right here, if you've installed actions, you can click on it and it will show you the actions that you have installed. So I installed a few. Um, and one of the ones I installed was bot or not. And this is one of my favorite ones so far. And it will tell you if this person's a bot and V surprisingly, not a bot. Um, oh, so good to know. <laughs> the, the, the face mask, not, nope, nope. <laughs> he's actually a person. So it'll tell you if they're a good caster. It'll tell you if they think they, they'll say they cast like a bot. It won't say this is a bot cause it's hard to confirm but it will tell you all those different things. So I'll periodically check that one out. And then we have, by the way, I did this one twice by accident. Um, Inspire Me gives you a little bit of inspiration. Never look back. Okay. All right then. Um, Never. It'll tell you, and it'll, it'll change it up every single time. So there's Inspire. 
savor every moment. Okay. Oh, we get little fortune favorite. cookies essentially every time you click the inspire me. So kind of fun. And you, know you can who built also, that one? Uh, I do have that well, somewhere down here. That's well, look it up. Yeah, I got it. I've got it here somewhere and now I forget. I've got it, I've got it further on in our in our chat. Um, but yes, so there's lots of little fun things you can do now. Um, so actions are here. Developers can create action buttons, which users can install. Action buttons appear under every cast in the user's feed. Warpcast, Nook, and Butterfly all support cast actions. Um, HT to a child, Diodad, and horsefacts.eth. Um, and uh, you can, this is an example, 84K DAO yesterday, by the way. Okay, craziness. Um, so a little bit more from Diodad, uh, Friday update. You can now add and use up to five actions at a time in Warpcast. Have fun taking actions this weekend. Um, so this is very cool, but you can't in uninstall yet. So once you install, you can't uninstall, but you can replace. I haven't tried that yet. So if you, like I did, install one twice because things were moving a little slow and I got impatient, um, then you can replace it, but you can't uninstall it yet. But I'm sure like probably by this Friday, that'll all be figured out. So just be patient. It'll come. Um, so this is pretty cool. And then uh, Farcaster actions are like Chrome extensions for social networks. I liked this thinking. This helped me frame it in a way that I could understand. Um, so if that helps you to understand better what is happening, uh, that is happening here. Uh, we also had a quick tutorial from BASE to help you make your first actions. So this was from Brian Doyle. Go check that out. We also had this from uh, uh, Palmad. Palmad. Introducing the freshest feature on the block, the cast generator. It lets you effortlessly create your own reaction casts. Think likes, thumbs up, and LOLs all without writing a single line of code. Give it a try and share your thoughts on what we should add next. I have not tried this yet. Did you happen to try this or see this? I no, see you this haven't. One. Have you created any cast actions yet yourself? No, no. Ca oh, yes. There's a, sorry, I thought you were asking the react cast reactions. I no, have my like, five. I filled up my five slots of cast actions for sure. I mean, did you actually create any? No, you haven't like created oh, no. your own. No, not yet. No. Okay. Why do you think I can do that? I don't know. Because it's because there's a frame, so anyone can no. apparently right here. I don't know. We'll have to try it later. Um, maybe we need something that adds a little coffee cup. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. We need that. Um, trailing seven day Dow taking it at least one on protocol action, now over 40K and up 27X since January 1st. Um, and if we hit the 100K, you know what happens, right? At Farcon, this happens. Yes. So, <laughs> this happens. So uh, if we can get that DAU over 100K, we will are going to see Dan dancing in a lovely, rather lovely outfit. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so let's try and make that happen, people. Does Varun, do we get, does V dance as well? I thought it was both, but, you know, that might have been Dan talking for Varun again. So <laughs> maybe Varun was on a plane and I don't know. I don't that's, what, that's what co-founders do. <laughs> this is what co-founders do. Um, so it's possible. Uh, thank you for sharing this, Adrian, by the way. Farcaster docs about cast actions, including a link to a directory of all available actions, which I was actually looking for. Um, so this was super helpful. And it doesn't have, I think there's been a few that have come in since this, but this has most of them so far. Up thumbs, um, tipping USDC and uh, TN100. Um, Payflow, send degen via Payflow, a whole bunch of auto mod ones that could be really useful, um, such as mute, mute, cooldown, and bypass. Uh, so bypass is the rules on auto mod, which is, could be interesting. Paperboy tip, that's a tipping tool. If you want to tip degen, you set the amount or a percentage of your degen, and then you can just click it. It does send a notification. I wasn't positive it was going to do that, but it does. Check FID, gift warps, tip on chain, DGEN stats, DGEN audit, uh, and paybot tip. So these are just a few. There are a few more. Um, this was helpful from uh, Kagusha, what actually from um, V Mother, actually. Um, 
something that wasn't clear to me about custom actions, you need to install it first through a deep link. For most of the actions, the deep links are accessible via frames. And then shout out to Vmouther for the clear CTA button in the frame so that, yes, you are clicking onto a link to install this first before it will work. And the other thing I noticed is you may have to refresh. So uh, I did have to refresh to show the new one. Um, just refreshing the website if I was on, on desktop worked. Um, but that's why I ended up installing tw twice because <laughs> I didn't think it worked. But it did. Um, I did ask for what were your favorite cast actions. Um, and we did get a few that I've mentioned, but also um, I'll show these as well. This one is from Say Angel. It is Bot or Not. That is the one I just showed you. It's pretty cool. Uh, and it will tell you if somebody looks like a bot. Again, you click Bot or Not, and it'll pop up a little thing. Not a bot good caster. <laughs> and I'll show you one in a little bit. Let's see if we can find some other ones. Um, I wonder if I can find a shilly one that'll tell me. Uh, all these people are good casters. It's not going to, oh, maybe, maybe this one. Let's try this one just to see. Uh, bot or not. Nope, not a bot. Good caster. Uh, all these people are, are too good at casters for this. I need, I need somebody who's, who looks very bot. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find one on this particular particular list, but I did find a few and it was super helpful, by the way, uh, because it did kind of allow me to go, OK, I'm going to hide this cast, um, this person, ban them, whatever, because uh, it was kind of giving me a confirmation and it might be wrong, but it's giving me a little bit of a confirmation of what I was thinking. So bot or not, I'm just going through. No, I can't find any bad ones on this one, but it will tell you. I promise it will tell you. Um, ooh, let's give this one. Let me try this one. Maybe, maybe. Not a bot. Good caster. You guys are all too good today. At least the ones on this one. Probably no one's going to reply to this frame and not uh, who is okay, a bot. Okay, so I just, they going to know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> suggestion. Oh, not a bot, but mostly shills. There you go. That's the one I was looking for. So it will tell you, um, it'll say uh, cast like a bot, or it'll say mostly shills if it feels like it's only, um, you know, it's not adding a lot of value. It's low effort replies. Uh, try board Dutch. <laughs> not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Oh, uh, <laughs> Adrian, what do you want to say? <laughs> Well, I was going to say the chat, um, the chat suggested to, to try Borodot, um, <laughs> but I just went into, um, just to try it out into my forecast her feed, which is, in my yes. opinion, has gotten inundated with, um, you know, everyone's quick to say bot, but is it really bot versus, so the first one I hit was uh, not a bot, but Schiller, is that what it was? Yes. But, yeah. That's what I was um, looking for. I was trying to find one so I could show you. Um yeah, the but shills. So it's like they're not a bot, but they pretty much just keep asking for degen tips. <laughs> it's like not a bot, thing. but mostly shills. Getting a lot but of that. So shills. helpful. Yeah. It's helpful. helpful. I like this. It's super helpful. Like so this, this one so far has been my favorite. Uh, and then we have um, this one from JTGI, which was Paperboy. This was the install degen tipping. So this is the one that you can set up and have it be either percentage or a fixed amount, uh, but it will only do that fixed amount each time. So keep that in mind once you set it and it will send an alert, but it won't necessarily tell them why. Um, so you would have to like let them know, but it will send an alert. So helpful, helpful to, to quicken the tipping if you're uh, in need of speed. Um, and then walk the walk. This is interesting. Um, this one is from, I cannot say that name. Would you, would you, would you? Would you, would you, would you, would you? Okay, we'll go with that. Um, this is really cool. You can see within a channel if somebody owns the related asset, except one thing to note is if, if the asset hasn't been attached to the channel yet, it's not gonna work. So I was trying it in GM Farcaster at first and I was like, oh, it's not showing anything. I wonder what it's pulling and it wasn't, he hadn't set it up yet. So if you're, if you have a channel and you want to reflect a certain thing from that channel that you want to see from people casting in there, just reach out and uh, he can get that set up. So now if you do that in GM Farcaster, 
you get anyone who, if they own an episode, it will tell you yes or not. So it's kind of cool. Well, so now we can, we can see if you walk the walk in our channel. <laughs> um, and it might keep us from like banning you if you're, if you're, if, if a uh, bot or not says you're a bot. <laughs> And you own one of our. Are we letting episodes? yeah bot to own bot to own episodes are welcome? Sure. <laughs> if you cast like a bot but you own an episode, we might let it slide. <laughs> you know, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then we've got bag bias. I have not tested this out yet because I ran out of uh, spots, um, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen if I did that. Uh, if a caster is referencing a ticket or token in their cast, check to see how much of the token that they own. So if they re mention DGEN, for example, you can check to see how much they own, which I think this is pretty cool. What do you think of this one? This is kind of neat. You can check Except there. It's, there's so much information that's not. Yeah. Um, by the way, I like love all the cast actions because it's like information you can get with a few yeah. clicks and now you can get it so much faster. And exactly. Indeed, so I'm kind of obsessed yeah. with all of them. I didn't actually didn't see this one. However, people have other wallets that aren't connected to Farcaster. Like you don't right. get the whole picture. You get one tiny slice. So you could be biased one way or another. And so I, this is almost like not enough information. Not enough information. You know, remind you of not like enough. algebra from high school. You know, <laughs> D, not enough information <laughs> to solve the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my that would be my answer all the time. Uh, yeah, so not enough information to solve the problem is a great point, um, but helpful to give you an idea if somebody is shilling a particular token or something. If they're coming up as sh mostly shells, and you're like, hey, what else do they? What do they own here? And um, yeah, and like, let possible. me just save you some trouble. Everyone is shilling. Okay, if Everyone's you're cast, shilling. if if someone's casting about a coin, they have it. They probably do. There's it's pretty like, likely. It's yeah. just a matter of how big is your bat bag. And um, I did. I really laughed because um, the example here is my friend Ben. So there you go, Ben. You made it into the show today. Jen is going um, to the moon, and even though I don't have any, <laughs> even though I don't own any. Let's fact yeah. check that. Let's fact check that. Um, oh, I think he was actually fact checking himself. I think that was oh that was the fact check. Got yeah. it. I think he was fact checking himself. Um, but Ben's underneath just by accident. Uh, and then we have this one from Durpin. Um, this is the Inspire Me one that I just showed you. Mm. Um, I hope that this low effort action will at least make you smile or keck. I'm still learning, but I promise a more useful action is coming soon. So I think this was created so you could test out how to create a cast action, but it is kind of cute. So this is the one that you click Inspire Me and it gives you like the little fortune cookie up top. Breathe, let go. Things like that. And shout which, out, like, yeah. shout out Durpin. I didn't see this. I want to install it. But um, yeah. even though- It'll be in the show notes. Effort, hey, Adrian, this cast will be in the show notes. <laughs> what are, do I have to look those up? <laughs> Where do I find the show notes? And thank you, JC Sparks, for giving us some feedback on the show notes as well. <laughs> and to, she, we, I don't, we're getting some feedback to make oh. the show notes more helpful. Um, okay. Anyway, um, what I love about this, about this cast is I'm still learning more to come, but this, hmm. you know, it's like what we do is cast what you're learning and cast as you go and yes. don't wait until you learned everything until things are perfect. So like everything is a work in progress and to share things along the way. So it, it just feels like such a good far caster value. It, totally. You know. Do the shitty version just consistently. Right. Yep. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Yeah, we know about that. We're, we're getting we're getting better though. <laughs> we're getting better. Improving. Um, this was from Art Lou. Okay, so if you saw up thumbs, that was just basically a way to thumb, you know, give a thumbs up on a cast. This is farts, and uh, you know, with that, what you will. <laughs> so it's a fork of up thumbs called farts. <laughs> so if you want to fart on a cast, there you are. Uh, I have not installed. I don't that like one. farts, but this <laughs> fart also we say stands for fart cast. Master art. So therefore, sure. it's highbrow. <laughs> sure. We can pretend that. Um, by the way, I loved this cast from you. A new stat <laughs> to measure myself for. You have zero up thumbs. But have I told you what my FID is recently? <laughs> Just to make sure everybody knows. Just to I make have sure no up thumbs. Knows. By the way, up thumbs, I saw Greg and DF at the meetup. And, oh, cool. Um, 
Anyway, so Greg has a bot that is up thumbing everything, like so, like his their own things and get, giving oh. themselves, and can How do it do multiple times. So Holy crap! People, so are fast. he's cheating. He's cheating already. We already have cast action cheaters. Like yeah. that was fast and impressive. Impressive how quickly you did that. Um, but also it's not a measure of your self-worth. Just reminder. And also this from Angel on a similar, on a similar note. Uh, okay, come on, load. Some of y'all, after checking bot or not on yourselves, <laughs> if you don't like what you see in the mirror, it's not the cast action's fault. You are not a bot or a shill. You are a good caster. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. All right, so. I'm going to go off brand. I'm going off brand for a second. You probably are a bot or a shill if you're getting called out as one. And maybe you need to do some self-reflection and improve your casting. <laughs> okay. This is your this is your self help for the day. Improve your yeah. casting, um, and it's your you know it's it is a mo if you are not a bot if you actually are not a bot and you don't think you're being shilly. Yeah, take a look in the mirror. Just see, just see for a second. Uh, but it is, it is pretty funny. Uh, we are, by the way, streaming on YouTube today to test out if we could do both at the same time as uh, a backup option. And um, for some folks who have some some trouble getting onto Unlonely, sometimes they're um, out and about. And uh, it's going right now. But also, go follow us on YouTube because it's helpful. We have a new milestone reach: 100 YouTube subscribers. We're on chain first, but subscribing to YouTube helps with discovery, SEO, provable value to sponsors, and all that boring stuff. P.S. I do love how mints are better than YT subscribers and hope it stays that way. Talking about Farcaster memes and culture, it ain't much, but it's honest work. Yes. Um, this is what we do now, almost full time. A few more weeks. A few more weeks. Um, this from Jason Airstack just hit 1 million in trading volume through our swaps frame in less than a week and executed the, our second DGEN buyback. Click learn more in the frame to learn more details. This was really cool. Um, I casted this, uh, I think that was like Friday as well. There's a swap frame. Be very careful with this. Um, mostly just meaning you'll be fine, but you know you may end up swapping too easily because it's super easy to do and therefore you might end up with more of a meme going than you intended. Um, so it's within the frame you can swap the uh, the token that you want. So, and then it, you are earning some, essentially some points with Airstack as well. So take a look at that. Um, it does make it really easy to swap. And I did test it out with uh, DGen and another coin just to see how it worked. And it worked pretty well, but almost too good. It was too smooth. I need more friction to stop me from <laughs> doing stupid things. I need, I like friction in my, in my uh, meme coining. Um, yeah, not a token. We're going to have the best stories. We're going to have, we're going to have yeah. the best when I was your age stories in a decade <laughs> from now. <laughs> we're li yeah. Living in the gold Sure, age. grandma. But, yeah. Sure, grandma. You used to have <laughs> okay, to connect grandma, a wallet to, to do stuff. Yeah. Like, what's that? What's a wallet, grandma? <laughs> we don't even know what that is. Um, but this was very, very cool and it's very smooth. So go check that out. Um, this from Linda. I love this. Uh, trying something out. An area I'm weakest in is design. Anyone want to do a 30 minute call next week for a skill swap? I can help brainstorm, go to market distribution and or fundraising. If you give, if you help give feedback on improving bounty caster product design benefit is meeting another founder and helping each other out. I loved this. I wished I was a designer <laughs> just for this moment. For many reasons. I feel but... like Linda would take a call. L Linda will take a meeting with you and chat for. I know. I know. But with, I just feel like I, no I don't have anything to offer. No expectation <laughs> of anything. I know. I feel like I have nothing to offer, though. It just feels better when you have like a little something, a little something to offer for the call. Um, but I did. I did love this. I thought that was a, a great use of uh, the Founders Channel as well to get founders to connect. Um, here's what I need. Help me with this. I'll help you with, with my, my skill set, which I think is pretty amazing. Um, this was really neat too. I wanted to hear what you thought about this. Uh, and we are going to wrap it very shortly. I'm in three hyper subs and each has a GC group chat with a distinct vibe. Club Ted is a dinner party or B Chang laid back with longer form conversations. Terminally on chain by YB feels like crypto product hunt with friends. 
and proxy studio chat is um, FC um, Wall Street Bets nonstop chat with so much alpha. Best part of Farcaster for me, hands down. Have you felt different vibes in different group chats? That was my question totally. to you. Yeah, totally. What do you think ours and, is? And or even, actually, let me ask the chat. What do you think? How would you describe the, the we have a couple of group chats. So if you're in either one of those, the wow, wow, or the chat for our, our chatters, um, what do you think? Um, even when you have group chats with the kind of the same overlapping people, the reason, what brings you together, like there's subtle differences. Um, I actually asked the chat, Prof, you might've missed it. I asked the chat, chat what our vibe was in the chat and people answered and then I forgot. Thank you for everyone no, who forget. answered and I forgot to go back. <laughs> Pretty sure people just said immaculate. It was just immaculate, immaculate vibes. vibes. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, immaculate vibes it is then. Uh, I thought that was really cool that uh, that thinking to me was kind of fun. Yeah. So I did like that. Um, we've got a couple more quick things and then we will call it a Monday and we do have something to announce and make sure everybody's aware of, um, uh, but two more things, uh, the goat lore. Yeah. So, um, apparently we're taking goat lore even higher. We will be taking a goat. This is from Aleph, by the way, in a DGen flag. I don't know where you got the flag to the highest point in Kenya, Africa, the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay. 19,000 foot peak, seven day trip. This is literally the goatest idea I've ever had. Might be a world record. I, I, I now am like doubting, is he even there? Like this went like a little yeah. crazy so, over the top now. <laughs> so now I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? I think what we need to do is put a cast out. And if we get 500 likes on a cast, we're sending one of us to go check up on Aleph and see if he's actually there because. I can't go. I don't have time for that. But if you want to go to Kenya and check out a love. All right. If I double my follower count in the next 48 hours, I'm getting okay. a plane ticket. All right. Well, there you go. That's a lot. It's a lot of followers needed because your your count's pretty high. This might be easier for somebody with a lower count. Um, that's but why I that's, did it. <laughs> that's that's me, why I like, offered that. Threw me off and I was really following along. And now I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That's a little sus but okay we'll wait we'll and find see out. we'll find out soon and we'll so. definitely get him on as a guest if he actually goes we'll get him on oh, as yeah. a guest to, to tell us all about with the it. goat with the goat we'd like you to stream in with the goat are we over 21 um, minutes yes we're over we have to we have to wrap it um and thank you all but we have a big big <laughs> maybe we rebrand group chat to goat chat um maybe maybe that's the way uh so tomorrow we have a show at 8.30 a.m. We normally do not, but to this week we do. And that show is an interview special with Yasik, the DJ and Dev, who we had back in January for his very first interview anywhere, I believe, um, at least about DJ. So um, we beat you bankless by three months. So there you go. This is, this is all, this is, this is what I do in my spare time. This is what gives me life. <laughs> it's beating bankless on scoops. Right. Makes me happy. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow, 8 30 a.m. Uh by the way, I went back and listened to our first uh interview with him. It was really good. Oh, it was pretty good. But I, I definitely need a to little replay I need today. To let, I need to let you and him talk more, is my big thing. And so thank you for that, Arjun. Uh, okay. <laughs> let Adrian talk. Um I will do that. So no, yes, Arjun, I had one tomorrow. thing to say. I just had one tiny little thing to say earlier. And I think Arjun must have seen my eye contact like, hey, so thanks. And buddy. I was trying to whip through some things so I could get through I was on Because a clearly it's nine o'clock. We're 30 minutes in yes. and we haven't finished yeah. our we haven't finished our announcements. Um, People have to But that is day. it. Anything else, Adrian, before we do wrap it for today? Um no, happy solar eclipse day, everybody, happy wherever solar you are. Eclipse day. Make sure you're wearing glasses. Don't directly look at the sun. And um, no, let's move on to our announcements. Yeah. Okay. What other announcements do we have? Yasik. Yasik. And oh, um, oh, if you have mole, if you're if you're one of our mole subs and you haven't had a chance to mint the um, here for the art piece by Max Jackson, today is uh, not today, but this week is your last chance to do that. I did extend it because we had a few new subscribers like 
just over the weekend and I wanted to give them a chance to mint. And then um, next week we'll be dropping number two here for the art number two with Chris Corella. So oh my God, that's exciting. Wait. That's next week. So make sure you um, pick that up before it's gone. Before it goes back. We're like Disney now. Before it goes back in the vault. <laughs> and you won't feel to miss it. So go grab it while you can. And that is it for us today. Thank you all so much. We will see you tomorrow. And that's it. Bye-bye. Thank you, subscribers. Thank you, subscribers. Oh, I know what I forgot. Thank you. One more thing. Thank you, Pinata. I forgot Pinata. How did I do that? Uh, thank you so much, Pinata, uh, and all of our subscribers. And we will see you all tomorrow for a very special show. 